We shall continue uh, our next presentation with uh, Dr. Muhammad Bati um, with the uh, title uh, of his presentation, Effects of uh, Project-Based Learning on uh, Reading Skills of Primary Level Students. So um, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, dear moderator Nadia, for uh, giving me this chance to uh, give a talk at uh, this forum. Can you see my screen? Uh, no, we can't. No. Okay, I can just share. And uh, when it is visible, let me know, please. Okay. Um, now I think it start the uh, sharing. Yeah, now we okay, can. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, and uh, uh, good afternoon to everyone. This is Dr. Muhammad Sajjad Bhatti from the Islamic University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan. Currently, I am working uh, as an IELTS trainer and the teacher trainer for the last 30 years. And I am the author of four books, and I have presented my talks at uh, different forums at the keynote speaker and a plenary speaker too. And I have uh, 80 plus research articles in uh, different journals in my credit. And now I would like to give my talk. Really, I'm very happy uh, to be invited at this forum. And the topic of my talk is. Yeah. Effects of project based learning on reading skills of primary level students. And that is a brief sketch of my talk. Dear all, project-based learning unleashes a contagious and creative energy among the students and teachers. It has improved students' motivation, engagement, and performance in various subjects, including language learning. Thus, it could effectively promote English language reading and comprehension skills among primary school children. As a result, Students may develop deep content knowledge as well as critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and communication skills. Basically, education is the right of every human. It is not only for developing the brain, but for educating the soul and the heart. It is to give children a personality and make them conscious individuals. Formal education accelerates learning process and learning with concepts make learning effective and sorry, lasting. Sorry to interrupt you, Dr. Muhammad. Uh, could you speak up a bit? Because uh, I get the feedback that the sound is a bit low. Okay. Uh, actually, sorry, I, am having a, I am having a sore throat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And could you show the, bar, the QR code again? Okay, 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 okay. Education is the, uh, now, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Education is the right of every human. It is not only for developing the brain, but for educating the soul and the heart. It is to give children our personality and make them conscious individuals. Formal education accelerates learning process and learning with concepts make learning effective and long-lasting. Primary education is the basic education which aims at preparing children to attain the competency needed to advance further in making a worthwhile contribution to society, which is constantly undergoing changes. In order to fulfill these objectives, teachers must keep them abreast with current thinking and engage in training that will enhance their teaching learning process. Dear all, English language plays is an essential role uh, in our lives as it helps in communication. It is the main language for studying any subject all over the world. English is important for students as it broadens their minds, develops emotional skills, improves the quality of life by providing job opportunities. Moreover, the use of English as an international language is growing with time because it is the only medium for communication in many countries. English is also used widely in literature and media sections to publish books. Most of the writers write in the English language due to the vast majority of readers know 
only English language and they can describe their ideas best in English language. If we talk about the current status of English language, that is an international language and we know on the world, someone's personal passport and the language of science and technology at the high course, and it is having very good market value at the language of higher examination too. If we talk about the teaching English language in Pakistan, it is having four fourth aims. Listening comprehension, reading comprehension, speaking ability, and writing ability. Now I would like to move towards the listening reading skills. Dear all, the process by which we make the sense of the text, recognizing the letters of alphabet and comprehension, looking at the written words and understanding the message. If we talk about the importance of reading skills, it is the basic need of social life. According to Bacon, reading makes a full man. Through books, we can visit the whole world. Books speak and console us, but it is possible only when we can read them. It is a source of recreation and self-education. It widens the eye span. Learning reading is purely a conscious process. These are some types of reading skills. Skimming, getting the gist of the text. Scanning, locating the place of something. Intensive reading, close and deep reading. While extensive is the reading for pleasure. What the project-based learning is? Dear all, project-based learning involves students designing, developing, and constructing hands-on solutions to a problem. The educational value of project-based learning is that it aims to build students' creative capacity to work through different and difficult or ill-structured problems, commonly in small teams. The project approach offers children the flexibility to develop interest, to work hard, add their strengths, to share expertise, and make personal contributions to the work of the classroom. PBL can help students to be successful in today's rapidly changing and complex world by developing a broader set of knowledge and skills, as well as improving academic achievements. These are some characteristics of project-based learning. The first one is the driving question. Second one is the crafting an artificial. And third one is learning goals, scientific practices, collaboration, and using technological tools. So these are some characteristics of project-based learning. Now, I'd like to move towards its scope. Project-based teaching uses child-friendly educational aids to foster self-learning and allows the child to study according to his aptitude and skill. English language learners require active problem solving by the teachers in finding patterns in uh, information, but at the same time, through their own investigation and analysis with, with continued practice of pre-reading, while reading, and post reading under the project based learning method finishes the one milestone. The information processing theory in psychology views learners as active investigators of their own environment. Now, I would like to brief you about the benefits of project based learning. Dear all, basically, project based learning prepares students for the rigors of school and beyond by providing them with the critical thinking problem solving and communication skills that are essential for success. This type of learning also promotes a love for of learning and a desire to continue to explore and learn new things throughout their lives. Project-based learning is more than just a teaching method. It is an immersive hands-on experience that ignites curiosity, nurtures creativity, teaches life and career skills, and prepares us for the challenges of the real world. Basically, project-based learning is linked to significant improvements in students' test score, attendance, and classroom engagement. It also gives teachers the opportunity uh, to build stronger relationships with their students by acting as their hands-on learning facilitator. In essence, PBL is an instructional method where students collaborate with others and learn by doing. First point is the collaboration. Relationship formed during collaboration is a huge part of 
project based learning not only do students learn how to work better in group providing their own input listening to other and resolving conflicts when they arise they uh, build positive relationships with teachers with which reinforces how great learning is students also form relationships with community members when working on projects gaining insight for careers and beyond the next point is problem solving students learn how to solve problems that are important to them including real community issues more effectively even learning from failure and possibly starting over the third point is creativity students apply creative thinking skills to in innovate new product designs and possibilities for the projects and the next is in depth understanding students build on their research skills and deepen their learning of applied content beyond facts or memorization self confidence dear all students find their voice and learn to take pride in their work boosting their agency and purpose critical thinking basically students learn to look at problems with a critical thinking lens asking questions and coming up with possible solutions for their projects perseverance when working on a project students learn to manage obstacles more effectively often learning from failure and making adjustments until they are satisfied with their work project management students learn how to manage projects and assignments more effectively and efficiently curiosity students get to explore their curiosities ask questions and form a new love for learning and the next point is empowerment basically students take ownership over their projects reflecting on and celebrating their progress and accomplishments too if we talk about the significance of the study that will be helpful for the primary level students and for the teachers and definitely will improve their reading skills the objectives of my study were to improve reading skills of the students with the help of activities to improve the value of project based learning to embellish the english language learning to embrace an activity based approach in the classroom to foster reading skills to improve maximum engagement by the students to describe how project based learning can enhance the reading skills of the students and my research questions were whether the students take interest while using di uh, different activities in the classroom does project based learning improve the reading skills of the students how to improve maximum engagement by the students how can project based learning enhance the reading skills of the students now i would like to move towards the literature review dear all teaching is a demanding profession which requires a high level of commitment training professionalism and dedication according to leon english language teaching requires a high degree of professional consciousness that is informed by relevant specialist knowledge and explicit values basically a teacher is not a transporter of knowledge who piles bags of knowledge into the minds of the children rather he is an artist of the souls academic knowledge is learned at an age but the foundations of personality are laid at an early age so reading is also a comprehending process when there is an interaction between the reader and the writer in order to comprehend the text students are expected to be able to comprehend english text in order to learn new knowledge ideas and concepts adam chambers says reading is a proactive act it makes things happen 300 students and 20 teachers from alpina school bahawalpur pakistan participated this in this study who were working at the primary level if we talk about the research methodology that was descriptive in nature and the approach was quantitative and random sampling was done questionnaire for the students and a questionnaire for the teachers were used as a tool to collect the data from the respondents and that is the data analysis of my questionnaire uh, collected from the our teachers students take interest 98% teachers uh, were uh, agreed participation 100% agreed students became confident 80% agreed 
motivation 99% agreed and improved grading skills 98% teachers were agreed and that is the graphic description of my talk here all there is a lack of project based teaching case is laid on caring teachers are not trained duration of teaching time is not sufficient students want to be fluent in english but there is lack of motivation from teachers side and teachers are not given proper training for teaching reading skills these are my findings and now i'd like to conclude basically project based learning effectively assist students in improving their reading skills in english it is essential to broaden its scope and generate pedagogical interventions as tools to help them to improve specific issues related to reading the text in english so before leaving i would like to give you some suggestions and recommendations dear all learners should be exposed to english reading skills through newspapers magazines and school radio programs learners should spare their time for reading english books and newspapers and learners should use english as a medium especially in the classroom and they should listen to english news regularly and they should make an active participation in debates and literary society activities should be used to provide free and spontaneous practice of language in language classes material should be functional to make it practicable and technology uses should be introduced in language classes and teachers should upgrade their qualification in english like tefl they should also motivate the students through peer and group work in the classroom the public schools may be equipped with libraries language labs and audio visual materials such as tape recorders video player overhead ohp multimedia and such facilities may properly be used for developing reading skills at primary level students so these were some references from which i got the help thank you very much for lending me your ears and any question please and that's all from my side dear john um are there any questions for dr mohammed at all um if you could uh, just uh, share them on the chat and i could read them out for you uh, if not i would like to ask a few questions uh, myself yes please. um yes, please. so when you were talking about the uh, project based learning um is it involving individual uh, projects or um do you support the peer projects so like um in involving more than one students okay uh it is basically uh, in the virtual environment as well basically that is the hybrid uh, mode of teaching basically in pakistan we talk about that because we have to engage some students from other countries and our students are working in the class so they will have to collaborate and share their cultural uh, i think uh, uh, traditions and their uh, language as well so they learn in this way because when they are having some interaction with others then they learn by uh, doing by sharing and pairing so that is the hybrid mode of learning as well amazing thank you and uh, thank you. how about the deadlines have you noticed if the students were uh, more proactive on uh, completing a project on uh, the specific uh, deadline actually i would like to tell you uh, dear moderators uh, about 70% uh, students uh, met their deadline in which school i have uh, implemented this uh, i did this uh, research 70% students were successful in doing their projects so that was a great success and uh, one last thing uh, based on uh, your talk i think you had uh, some of the um, let's say results the findings of the research there and from my understanding um the teachers weren't uh, that uh, motivated uh, for the project yes. uh, based um, activities how would you tackle that um yes, would you maybe educate more the teachers or how would you um yeah tackle that basically thank you very very nice question 
basically i have told you that i am working over here as a teacher trainer so i talked them that this is a new thing which we have to use uh, introduce in pakistani uh, atmosphere so they were agreed with me and they collaborated with me as well but at, uh, when i told them about some project based learning and teaching they were stunned you know sir that is very difficult for us because they are used to the uh, traditional way of teaching but uh, uh, i would like to say 50 50 percent teachers were agreed and they, that was their ratio and they were motivated 50 percent were motivated but the 50 percent remained the same whatever i had been doing with them whatever the i think uh, uh, conversation and whatever the motivation i was giving from my behalf but they were the same they didn't change themselves but 50% teacher collaborated with me and they changed uh, themselves and then they also used this project based teaching in the classroom too sure. thank you okay perfect thank you so much for your presentation